Hello and welcome to The Humble Seer. So let's talk um, Jennifer Lawrence and her significant other. Jennifer Lawrence is an actress and um, I'm hearing just will do whatever it takes to get that role or part, you know, doesn't have any shame in the game of doing whatever they need to do to get a part. Now we're going to talk about her, Jennifer Lawrence uh, her significant other. So we're going to pull a card on the overall, <coughs> excuse me, how she views that significant other and how they view her, right? So let's pull a couple cards. Yeah, I just saw the five of cups. Okay, so let's just pull the cards and see what the story wants to tell us. This is the overall. How she views them. And how they view her. For some reason, I'm getting getting two. It feels like more. Okay, I'm going to take both of those. Felt like two cards. Okay, the overall is the Ace of Cups. Now, I, I, I feel like Jennifer is kind of all over the place in relationships. But at any rate, this the Ace of Cups comes out and it tells us that there's, you know, feelings, it's pure intentions. There's a lot of fun and partying, food, drink, new love, potential. Okay. So that's the overall. This is how she views her significant other. Okay, Eight of Swords. Now, you know, swords are in the mind, but she views them ultimately, eventually, as the Eight of Swords. Bad news, embarrassed by them. They might even be abusive or slander her. It's not good for her. She doesn't find good relationships. She doesn't get involved in good relationships at all. It's just not a good, her and relationships are like oil and water. They don't mix well together at all. It's just not good. Now this is how they see her. And we have two cards. We have the two of wands. And we have the six of pentacles. Okay. Okay. So, hmm, they're viewing her, I'm sorry, I, that's the three of wands. I think I said two, but it's three. And the three of wands tells us that um, the, the person that gets involved with her, well, they feel lucky. And I feel like plenty of people that she dates, they're not famous, so to speak, okay? I mean, and these people date people that you don't know about. And I think she does a lot of that. But the Three of Wands comes in and they say, well, uh, I'm viewing Jennifer as uh, my luck. It's, she's a great opportunity. She's going to boost whatever. She's going to boost my social presence. She's going to be easy. Now, the people that get involved with her are somewhat conniving is what I've seen. And they also... Um, the person, how they view Jennifer, they also, um, the Six of Pentacles wanted to come out. And that is rewards. It's hard work paying off. It's rewards. It's manifestation. Things coming to fruition. And again, it goes back to them benefiting from being in a relationship with somebody that views them in this way. Because she catches on. But you would think that she would catch on prior to getting involved. You would think she would do the work prior to each. You would think she would just say, okay, I got to get rid of these swords that I'm continuously bringing into, um, that I'm continually getting from the relationships that I find myself involved in. I got to get rid of these swords. How do I do that? Well, Jennifer, you do that by working on yourself and, and, coming to some conclusions on bad relationships in your childhood because so much stems from that. So, you know, overall you've got 
fun times, you know, it's party and drinking. She's a younger person, so, you know, but going into adulthood, moving into that very rapidly, but it's a fun, good time. Maybe you meet them when you're drunk, Jennifer, and maybe that's part of the problem. Oh, you're cute. You're slurring your words in their face. And, and you know, next thing you know, you're in a relationship with them. It's moving too quickly. And you need to rid yourself of that mindset. You need to rid yourself of that you know, having restrictions because this is in your mind. I mean, the people that you're bringing in aren't good for you. That that's a, that's a given, but in your mind, you have a lot of issues that you haven't worked out. So yeah, um, it's not, there isn't much more to say about this. It's not, um, they're not good relationships, but I do see her in time getting in a good one because I do see her working on herself. I see her getting married at some point. I do. And having children. I see that for her. But she has to do the work in order for that to come into her world. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for stopping by the Humble Seer. Please do consider liking, sharing, subscribing. Leave a comment below and tell me what you think. And if you like what I do, consider buying me a coffee. And that will be in the description box below. So uh, the link. So until next time you take good care. We'll talk again soon. Bye.